Hey, what's up? I'm Kyle with Cranky Banjo Woodworks. Um, I'm going to do just a quick shop tour. I'm going to try to not be real long-winded about it and make it like a 10-minute video. Uh, a lot of upgrades from the last shop tour, which I believe was 2018, maybe even 2017, but 2019 was a great year, and so we were able to upgrade a lot of things. I can do a lot more, build a lot more, be a lot more efficient about it. Also, some things are just there to look cool, like that hand tool wall. I'm really proud of that. I love the way it turned out. Out. everything's built on a french cleat i just uh made some stuff out of some half inch and some three quarter inch um the plywood's just half inch acx nothing special um that's it i just really thought it turned out good um kind of moved some stuff around in my staging and work area got everything dug out of the corner so it's easier to reach um i know it's not the prettiest shop in the world but it's the one i got um so anyway, we'll start with some of the quick upgrades. Uh, upgraded the miter saw, put a dust collection box on it. It is hooked up to the dust collector. You can see that there. I took the bag off of it that's back inside of there because that bag, when it gets full, which is very quick, starts to kick dust back out the front of the saw, and that is counterproductive. So I got rid of that. Um, added some more dust collection down to the end here because I added a bunch of more tools, and these tools all have dust collection. I added a planer. I picked this planer up dirt cheap for 50 bucks. It worked. I had the blade sharpened. I added dust collection to the back of it. I got about four hours in clean and rust off of it, and it's done. Good to go. It's 220 volts, so not everybody can run one that big, but there's a lot of great options for guys that can't. Uh, drum sander. I think the drum sander was working in the last video that I did. I bought it broken and it sat for a while, but anyway, it functions great. I use it more than I use the planer. I love that thing. Uh, joiner. Everybody's got a joiner. If you don't have a joiner, you need a joiner. If I could only pick two tools to have in this shop, it would be a table saw and a joiner. Uh, upgraded the... Uh, bandsaw actually i got a smoking deal on a used bandsaw it's got a little bit of vibration in it but it is a nice jet saw um i got some new silicone tires that are coming forward i put cool blocks on it i'll i'll get it straightened out here pretty soon big upgrade with the heat was another thing we went to a conventional furnace rather than that wall mounted unit uh the ventless wall mounted units work great the problem is they kick out a lot of moisture um these use a heat exchanger, a regular furnace uses a heat exchanger, therefore there's no moisture, very, very dry heat, and that's awesome for a wood shop. Um, out where I work is a cabinet shop, and we upgraded some equipment there, so I was able to buy some of these uh, at, a, at a really great deal. I got this uh, spindle sander, and I got that belt sander. It, I don't have the disc attachment for it, but I don't actually care. I love it for a belt sander. Um, I've made some fixtures and jigs for sharpening some stuff, you know. Um, chisels and planes and stuff like that. Um, I don't remember if I had this in the in the last video, but the table saw's got a 52 inch Biesemeyer on it. Um, I use this uh, eighth inch MDF wood cover over the top because that way if you set something on there not thinking or one of your buddies doesn't know, he's not supposed to set his beer down on your table saw top, you don't leave a water ring. That eighth inch MDF is like 11 bucks a sheet or something like that. It's real cheap and it's a lot more durable than cardboard. So if you need something to, to use for throwaways or covers or something like that, that stuff's the way to go. Um, I don't know if it helps everybody, but in Iowa here, I buy all of my material from a company called Liberty Hardwoods. Um, they are not a sponsor of mine, but they are the supplier that I choose to use. And my salesman over there, Brian Berry, will always treat you right. Um, give him a call. You can tell him I sent you if you want. I don't get any perks out of it. It's just those are the guys I like to work with, and they have really great, uh, really great service. So I choose to work with them, and I really appreciate those guys. Um, upgraded router table. The old router table was garbage, so we got a new router table that's less garbage. Um, bought it cheap at an auction. Works great. I love it. Um, it's got some built-in storage where I got my bits and stuff. Um, you know, you got to have a place to sit down and drink beer and hang out, and we do not drink beer while we're working because that would be bad. Um, place to keep all my wood uh, and the occasional unfinished project. Um, I don't keep a ton of wood around because I use what I buy for the projects that I bought it for. I always keep some, but not a ton. Um, like that walnut in there, there was just a really great deal on that walnut at Liberty, so I picked up a bunch of it. They were all four and five foot long, which is perfect for like furniture making. It's not great for cabinets, but the good news is I don't build cabinets from here because that would be productive um, com competition to who I work for, and that would be wrong. Um, 
Oh, I think I had the drill press in the last video, but I've moved it. It's over here. Built a nice little table for it. And you can tell my dog's going crazy right now. Um, I uploaded some pictures of uh, Buford the hammer, the joinery mallet. Um, it's kind of a cool thing. So I needed a mallet, so I built the mallet. And then I had it routered. And then we took the test piece from the router and made the hanger for it on the French cleat wall. And I just thought that was kind of a fun thing. Um, the downdraft table, no changes to the downdraft table. If you're not familiar with the downdraft table, there's a little bit in the other video about it from 20, 2017, 2018, whatever it was. Basically, it's just a uh, a hole in a tabletop with a squirrel cage fan inside of it. Blows out the other side, um, and it sucks the dust down through this. Sucks it down into that filter while you're sanding, and it... Uh, helps keep the dust out of the air while you're sanding. I also added a shop air filter. I don't use it a ton, but when you need it, it's nice to have it. Um, I think we kind of covered the bases. Uh, you can do a lot in a small space. The workshop space here is about 24 by 24. The whole garage is about 24 by 36. I uh, have my dust collection runs right out the window and it goes back in, there's a lean-to that's closed in on the back of the garage on the other side of this brick wall, and my dust collector, so the, the tube runs out that window all the way down this wall to that corner, so right behind that thermometer, that's where my dust collector sits, so that dust goes a long ways to get there. It seems to do a pretty good job, and my air compressor's back there too. Um, I don't have to listen to them is the best part. I just click on this little remote, and that dust collector turns off and on. Uh, one of the other buttons controls that air filter. The third button is not used right now. Um, gotta have the American flag, cause you know, this is America. If you don't have an American flag in your shop, you're doing it wrong and you need to get on board. Uh, probably take heat for that, but it's the internet. Don't care, love America. Um, there's the shop dog being impatient. Uh, that other room doesn't have anything to do with my woodworking, so there's no point in going in there. It's just a, a room I use for other things. And yes, I have carpet. I have carpet in my shop and people like to make fun of me and they think I'm crazy until they have to spend hours in my shop and they're really grateful for this carpet. This is used carpet out of somebody's house. We were remodeling at work. There's, you know, there's no need to spend money on nice carpet. This was literally, I mean, we stain on it. We work on it. My dog rolls around on it. My kids come out here and play. And you see my son's got his little, little toy area under my work table. I mean, it's, you know, I, li I live here and I use this shop almost every day, so it's it's nice to have a place where I can come and stand and be comfortable. It's a lot easier on the knees. Um, like over here, even, I have pad under it where I stand and work the most. Um, out in the main shop, I do not have pad. It's just carpet, but it is still significantly better than standing on concrete. Um, as always, you got any questions, holler at me. Anything that... You know, obviously I said wrong because it's the internet and I'm sure it's going to be full of that and you guys are going to tell me how dumb I am and that's cool. I'm okay with that. You know, I got a, I got a, I got a nice shop. I've been really blessed and really grateful to have it. And uh, anyway, that's it. I, maybe I'll do another one of these in another year or two. In the meantime, if you need something, get a hold of me. We'll see what we can do for you guys. I'd love to build you something. Thanks.